just want to take you any way that you like. We can go high day night. Baby, I'll take you there. Take you there. Baby, I'll take you there. <laughs> it's a little nerve wracking with three people watching me. And two cameras. And two cameras on me. I'm Emily, as you know. I'll be filming your history segments for the week. And I thought since it's Black History Month that get some black history up in here. <laughs> okay, so the first person I'm going to tell you about is Josephine Baker. She was this singer, actress, performer in like exotic clubs. She moved from America to Paris and she is pretty famous for smuggling military intelligence to French allies during World War II. It's pretty exciting. I read that she pinned secrets inside of her dress, but I can't find any source on that. And, but I did figure out that she was writing secrets in invisible ink on her sheet music, which is pretty cool. Uh, she was also the first black woman to star in a major motion picture. Love film. Good stuff. She integrated an American concert hall, and she... Martin Luther King Jr.'s wife wanted her to become the unofficial leader of the civil rights movement after her death, but she refused because she wanted to raise her kids. And, you know, she also had a pet cheetah that she performed with. Badass. <laughs> Look her up. She's fun. Very exciting. There's also Alexa Kennedy. I don't know if I'm saying her last name right because I can't say words. She became the first female African-American neurosurgeon in the United States in 1981. She specialized in all sorts of crazy stuff that I don't really know about, like congenital spine abnormalities, something I can't pronounce, trauma, brain tumors, all that crazy stuff. Uh, she was inducted into Michigan's Women's Hall of Fame in 1989 for being a straight up badass. And she retired in 2001, but she's still alive. Something slightly less history related, but is sort of relevant, is that um, Rolling Stone just announced like a couple days ago that on March 5th, Experience Hendrix and Legacy are releasing a collection of previously unheard Jimi Hendrix songs. And I've seen a lot of people complaining about it for a bunch of different reasons. But that's not really my field of expertise, so look it up, decide for yourself, and that's all I have for you. I do have a dare for Greg. <laughs> Gregory. <laughs> for your challenge, I would like you to film a reaction video of yourself watching One Man One Jar. Have fun. I'm waking up to action dust. I wipe my brow and I sweat my rust. 